Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you are sleeping. Diving in the deep sea may sound quite exciting, but it can be equally as scary if you come across something unexpectedly huge, creepy, or mysterious. Here are some of the things that a diver captured in the deep sea that no one was supposed to see. Underwater Lemur Graveyard In 2015, paleontologist and anthropologist uncovered an underwater lemur graveyard, which is considered to be the largest discovery of lemur remains ever to be found. By exploring a path in a remote desert region of Madagascar, they found a series of underwater caves. These caves contain hundreds of lemur skeletons that were found to be thousands of years old, making this a unique site in the world. According to researchers, this lemur graveyard could shed some light in better understanding of underwater paleontology. Ancient Shipwreck with Skeleton Anicthera is a Roman-era shipwreck that was found in 1900 by Captain Demetrius Kandos on the Greek island of Anicthera. It was only in August 2016 when a 2,000-year-old human skeleton named Pamphilios was found. In order to learn more about the people, researchers came up with the idea of conducting DNA analysis on this ancient skeleton, a stunt that has never been pulled before. If efforts are proved successful, researchers can provide information about characteristics from hair and eye color to ancestry and geographic origin. By studying the unworn teeth and fairly robust femur, the skeleton belonged to a young man. Shrimp Clean Diver's Teeth Shrimps off the Bali Island, Indonesia, are known for their underwater teeth washing and dental services. A virtual footage captured in July 2018 shows two divers that let shrimps hop inside their mouth to pick their teeth clean. Lysomata ambosinesis is a crustacean that is known to eat parasites and dead tissues from the teeth of larger fishes or human beings. You might think, why not find food of their own? Or why go into another fish's mouth only to get eaten? Well, these shrimps have a very poor vision, and since most fishes can't use a toothbrush like us, they let the fish into the mouths of fish to clean. Underwater Icing Formation of ice underwater is a natural process that occurs as warm water begins freezing at sub-zero levels making the brine slowly sink to the ocean floor. This creates a hollow tube-like ice formation growing downwards, enclosing a plume of descending brine that is formed beneath developing sea ice. Once the seawater freezes in the polar ocean, salt brine concentrates are expelled from the sea ice, creating a downward flow of dense, extremely cold, and saline water. This footage was recorded with the help of a special time-lapse camera that captured the formation of a brinicle on the ocean floor. The brinicle, also referred to as finger of death, freezes everything in its path. Japanese Spider Crab When it comes to the crab family, Japanese spider crabs are known to be the largest crab and living arthropod of all. They can grow up to 16 inches in width, a leg span of 3.7 meters, and weigh over 19 kilograms. If this isn't scary enough, they also carry venom capable of neutralizing any prey or predator way bigger than them. Lucky for us, their venom isn't contagious, but they have a painful bite. Age of these spiders is judged by the size of their legs as they continue to grow over time, while carapace remains the same. Juvenile Japanese spider crabs are known to decorate their shells for camouflage. Diver Finds Sleeping Sperm Whales While on a casual dive beneath the sea, a diver, Patrick Dykstra, spotted a pod of sleeping sperm whales, who at first looked to be like some kind of pillars in the water until he got closer. The footage was captured in July 2021, as the diver was fascinated to witness the family of these whales, who stood in a column formation while sleeping. Whales are very rarely found sleeping, as they only spend about 7% of their time sleeping, making them the mammals who sleep the least when compared with other mammals. 
Interestingly, they aren't as vulnerable as they may seem because half of the whole brain monitors for threats, which is exactly why they all woke up due to his presence and seemed quite curious. Ancient Ship with Wine Jars A couple of divers in July 2021 made an interesting discovery of an ancient ship that was loaded with wine jars. It was found during an underwater reconnaissance expedition using a submarine. The wreckage lies 92 meters below the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Palermo. This discovery will help archaeologists and historians better understand the trading activity of the Roman Empire in the Mediterranean. The wreckage had remains of other items like spices and olives that the Romans traded aside from the wine. The fact that the older the wine is is the better it takes should be enough to consider the face value of this discovery. World War II Italian Submarine Wreck In December 2021, one of Greece's best-known divers and underwater explorer, Costas Thoktarides, and his team discovered the wreckage of a World War II Italian submarine known as Jantina. Jantina was sunk on the 5th of July 1941 after it was hit by torpedoes fired by the Royal Navy, and out of 48 sailors on board, only six were known to survive. The wreckage lies in the Aegean, south of Myconis at a depth of 103 meters. The discovery was made using a remotely operated underwater vehicle, the ROV Super Achilles, which carried out a detailed visual inspection of the wreckage. Caesarea Treasure Finding ancient treasures is probably the fantasy of any diver. It certainly isn't as easy as it may seem. A group of divers, along with the help from archaeologists, were able to find a boatload of ancient treasure in 2015. Among the treasures that the ancient merchant ship was carrying included 2,000 gold coins with 95% purity. The treasure was specifically found off the ancient harbor of Caesarea in the eastern Mediterranean between Tel Aviv and Haffa. After studying the site, the ship was found to have been around 1,600 years ago during the Roman period. Moving on to the subscriber's pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This picture was taken by a diver in the Jordanian coastal city of Aquaba. At first, you might think that it is a real wreckage of a place with the remains of a pilot, but that is not the case. This is a diving spot developed as a part of a strategy implemented to expand and diversify tourism into the country. The site was established by the Aquaba Special Economic Zone Authority by submerging an out-of-service plane, further increasing the number of coral reef and marine life. The aircraft was formerly used to transport goods and passengers before it was scuttled and submerged in the southern beach shore of Aquaba, where Jordanian authorities previously submerged a battle tank in the late 1990s. New Species of World's Rarest Fish A video posted in January 2014 shows a new fish species of what's found to be of the rarest fish in the world. For quite some time, the crawling fish were on the endangered list with only 20 to 40 thought to be in existence. The discovery was made near the coast of Tasmania, Australia. These fishes move by literally walking along the seafloor using their fins, making it almost impossible for them to spread across the seas. Crawling fish are 2.4 inches to 3.2 inches in terms of length and tend to live in places with abundance of sand and rocks. According to the scientists, they are much more adaptable than initially thought. The Underwater Garden The idea of growing plants underwater may seem naive until it is proven otherwise. A video posted in January 2021 shows a man-made garden developed underwater that has a number of plants growing. This project was started in 2012 and was referred to as Nemo's Garden. It is located in Italy, 100 meters off the coast of Noli. Project Nemo consists of several balloon-shaped pods and biospheres that can hold about 22 plant pots each. They are tied down to the seafloor by six-meter-long rope. 
Plants that are usually grown on the Earth's surface are grown inside these pods. The project uses renewable energy from the sun and desalting the seawater, making it self-sustainable. Well, that's all guys for today. Thank you for watching the video.